Let's walk through a couple of more uh, trig related rates problems. Uh, number 40, angle of elevation. Uh, airplane flies at an altitude uh, 500 uh, and out to the five miles towards a point directly over the observer. Um, so you have the plane that is moving uh, towards the observer. Um, the speed of the plane is 600 miles per hour. Find uh, the rate at which the angle of elevation is changing. So um, uh, we can think of it as uh, the x represents um, the horizontal distance between the plane and uh, the person and 5 represents the height and then we have the hypotenuse um, uh, gives us the distance between the plane and the person and the bystander and then we have um, theta. So part A find the rate at which the angle of elevation is changing so we're trying to find d theta, dt at the moment when theta are these different values. So part A find d theta dt when theta is 30 degrees Right. So, um, looking at what we're given, um, we know we have to start off with a um, equation uh, that relates the three variables together. So we know how to use trig equations since we're involving theta. So the only one that doesn't uh, involve um, uh, the hypotenuse is going to be tangent. So we we'll choose tangent since tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So tangent of theta equals five over x. So that's our starting point. Before we find the derivative, let's go ahead and move this x up to the top, make it 5x to the negative 1 to get it ready for power rule. So tangent becomes secant squared theta, d theta dt. Remember, with related rates, uh, we're finding the derivative of each variable with respect to time, so everything gets attached with d over dt. Uh, 5x to the negative 1, go through power rule, bring down the negative 1, so negative 5x to the negative 2 times dx dt. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and move the secant squared over to the other side. So divide by secant squared, the same thing as multiplying by cosine squared. So now we can solve for d theta dt. Um, in this case, we do know what theta is. Um, theta is 30 degrees, so um, the cosine of 30 or cosine of pi over 6 is going to be root 3 over 2. Root, root 2 over 3 squared. Um, x, uh, we uh, are able to find that um, since... Um, uh, we're told that um, x is going to be 5 root 3 um, by looking at a, a right triangle to figure out what that value is at that moment in time. And uh, dx dt is going to be negative 600. Okay. So it says at the moment when um, it's 5 miles, so if we're using... Um, um, if we're using theta being 30 degrees, then if this is 5, then we know x is going to be um, uh, 5 root 3, right, 5 root 3. So 5 root 3 is going to be our x, so 5 root 3 squared um, will be 25 times 3, which is 75, and multiply all this out to get d theta dt, and we get uh, 1 half radians per minute. Um, for part b, uh, when theta is 60 degrees, we still use the same um, formula here. Um, but now instead of cosine of 30, now it's cosine of 60. So we make that substitution. Um, because this is now 60 degrees, then this x value is just going to be 5 divided by root 3. Okay, So we're just using um, uh, special right triangles to help us find those values. And we work that out to be... Uh, three halves radians per minute since we're converting uh, from radian per hour to radian per minute using um, uh, this conversion. And for part C, 75 is not a um, uh, is not a s angle that we can use easily, so we have to use our calculator for this. So cosine of 75 um, plugs in 5 tangent of 75 is the representative value for x and um, use our calculator to find 1.87 radians per minute. Okay, with 41, um, linear versus angular speed, the patrol car is parked 50 feet from a long warehouse. Um, so the, rev the revol revolving light on top 
um, of the car turns at a rate of 30 revolutions per minute. How fast is the light beam moving along the wall um, when the beam makes uh, these different angle measures? So um, we see a right triangle that's formed um, by this diagram here. So theta is the angle measure, 50 is the adjacent, and then the, op the opposite is x. So we know that we can use um, tangent um, to create uh, this relationship or to relate these three variables together. So tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent, so x over 50. We find the derivative. Tangent becomes secant squared theta, d theta dt. 1 50th x becomes 1 50th times 1 times dx dt. So when theta is equal to 30 degrees, um, we can use this to find uh, dx dt, the rate of change of um, the light beam um, on the wall. So uh, when theta is 30 degrees, um, we can find out the, um, the missing sides here. That means this is 50, then this must be 50 over 3, and this must be 100 over 3. Secant theta, um, in this case, is going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. So when we do that, we get 100 over um, I'm sorry, uh, 100 over 3 divided by the adjacent is going to be 50 here. So 100 over 3 divided by 50 becomes 2 over 3, which uh, if we square that, it becomes 4 thirds. So if we take that, plug it in for secant squared theta, um, d theta dt is what we are um, given here. So we know d theta dt is going to be 30 revolutions per minute. And we want to convert that to be radians per second. So 30 revolutions per minute is the same thing as 2 pi radians per revolution. And, um, and we know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. So if we clean this up, we get d theta dt is pi. So d theta dt gets replaced with pi. And then we're trying to solve for dx dt. So to solve for dx dt, 4 thirds times pi times 50 becomes 200 pi over 3 uh, feet per second. And then for part B, we go through the same process. When theta is 60, we make the adjustment um, with, um, with secant theta. And for theta, when theta is 70, we also make the adjustment, but we use the same equation. And for B, we get 200 pi feet per second. And for C, we get 427.43 pi feet per second.